Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of absolute value. This is standard 6.2b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 19 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work the problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So this looks like a fairly simple problem. We have four points on a number line, and we need to find which point represents the absolute value of negative one-half. Now, how we represent absolute value, because that word is not anywhere on this problem, but we represent it with these two little lines surrounding uh, a number. And they are vertical lines, so they're not quite parentheses, but they're uh, we need to make them tall enough to where they go above and below the line. We don't want to confuse people by making them like really small like this. This is just confusing. That's not really negative uh, one and a half absolute value. So we just make the lines, make sure they go over the top and the bottom of each number. And that's what absolute value is. So absolute value simply means how far away is that number from zero. And so that's the only question we need to worry about how far from zero and we have zero at least on our number line and so let's just take a look at uh, each of these numbers and let's see what the absolute value of each of these numbers are so p so p is negative two so what would be the absolute value of negative two well how far away is negative 2 from 0. Well, it's 1, 2. It's 2 away. So that's where it might look a little bit confusing because you're thinking, well, what happened to the negative? Well, we're not worried about negative or positive when we're dealing with absolute value. Remember, we're just wondering how far is it from 0. It doesn't matter which direction it's moving. So it is 2 away from 0 because it's at negative 2. Therefore, the absolute value of p, negative 2, is at 2. Then we've got a q right there. And that is in between uh, 0 and negative 1. So that's going to be negative 1 half. So let's see, q, negative 1 half. Absolute value, well, how far away is negative 1 half from 0? It's just a little half. So once again, the negative drops. And then we've got r here. r is the positive 1 half, because that's right there between 0 and 1. So the, op the absolute value of positive 1 half is 1 half. So take a look at this. If I took the absolute value of negative 1 half and positive 1 half, they both end up as positive 1 half. Because look at these two right here are mirrors. They are the exact, if 0 is my mirror, they are the exact same distance away. We're going to find the same thing with P and S. So here's S. S is 2. So what is the absolute value of 2? Well, how far away is it from 0, 1, 2? So now you've got another mirror between P and S. So you've got your negative 2 right here, positive 2 right here. Absolute value is exactly the same as 2. So now that we know the absolute value of each of these digits, so let's see what the problem is wondering. Which point represents the value of negative 1 half? Now this is where it gets interesting because look at this negative one half this negative one half is actually right there point q right but it's not asking how do you plot negative one half that's like a fourth grade fifth grade problem we're asking what is the absolute value of negative one half and we've already done that and we did it all the way down here so the negative one half absolute value is actually positive one half. And which point represents this positive one half? And that's the trick. Guess where positive one half is? Positive one half is right here at point R. So even though we're staring at negative one half, which is point Q, we need to find the absolute value of that negative one half, which is actually positive one half. And that point is actually point R. So that is going to be our answer. And that's a tricky problem. It seems very simple, but it's tricky because we're dealing not just with its value, but its absolute value. 